So, and in number four, so it says a group of 250 bags. How many would you expect to weigh more than 50.4? So like the exact problem, it's saying more than 50.4, right? It's number three. So exactly, more than, um, more than 50.4. So therefore, we have to look at the only one that's more than 50.4 is 50.5. So we look at that percentage, and we can see that that is probably going to be about 2%. OK? So we have about 2% as the percentage that weighs more than 50 point, um, 50.4. Now, they're saying, well, what percentage is that going to be? If you have 250 bags, then what would they be that percentage? So I need to multiply 2% times 250. Please do not make the average. Remember, two per, so 100% of 250, 100% uh, of 250 bags would be how many bags? 250. So if you say 2%, that's going to be smaller number than 250, right? So then it makes sense to you guys if you just multiply 2 times 250, 2% 2 is not 500 of 250, right? That doesn't really make sense, correct? Because 2% is going to be smaller than 250. Yes? Huh? Five bags. Five bags, you're right. So what you do is you do 0 0.02 times 250, which gives you five bags. Now, does that make sense? Does five bags sound like it would be 2% 2 of 250? Yeah. Yes, that makes sense. So remember, when you're multiplying percents, Convert it to a decimal. Okay?